Hi everybody and welcome to the Mythbusters After Show. Today, it's Party Balloon Pile Up. That was a fun myth to test. I mean, it's, it's always fun, you know, running around the shop with helium balloons. <laughs> very colorful, very. Yeah, I enjoyed the small scale on that one. Yeah. It was fun. All right, first question. <laughs> Are any of you scared of clowns because they freak me out? Yes, that was probably the worst part about the myth. Really? Yeah, clowns are scary as heck. I don't know if I'm scared of clowns necessarily. I mean, I, I've been freaked out by them, like when I was little, you know, at the circus. But like when you're hanging out somewhere and all of a sudden somebody's dressed up like a clown, and they like come over. It doesn't freak you out a little bit. <laughs> Does that happen a lot? Like when you're, like when you're at a party or something. I rarely go, go to parties, parties where there's clowns. clowns. <laughs> Apparently, I'm going to the wrong parties, man. Next question: Why did you drop the cart instead of crashing it with the towing system? like we normally do? Um, it was actually just a, a, a way that we thought it would be easier to reset uh, crashes. Um, and we didn't have to set up a huge long runway. And it was going to give us the same results. Yeah. I mean, you know, setting up a towing rig and, and actually executing one of those experiments is fairly involved. And this was just so much simpler. We, we needed just so many. And plus, yeah. the other thing is we didn't have to hit a target of any kind. So we could crash right into the ground and... The earth was our target. Yeah. <laughs> we were pretty sure we were going to hit that every time. All right. Next question. Where was Grant <laughs> during the first two car drops? There was lots of carrying Tory, but Grant was AWOL. Actually, Grant was out sick. No, he was in the trunk. <laughs> collecting data. We have a very ambitious shooting schedule, and um, we are here five days a week, and if somebody gets sick, we... You know, our sick yeah, days are documented. The show, the show must go on. It doesn't, yeah, production does not stop if one of us is out sick. So, sorry. Next question. In the small scale test, which were great, by the way, thank you, why didn't you test Mylar balloons? Actually, we did. Yes, we did test Mylar. Um, and it didn't make it in the episode. I don't know why. Why didn't it make it into the episode? Well, not everything makes it into the episode. We have such extensive testing that it would get boring if you saw every single thing. And Mylar didn't make a difference. Yeah, so. I yeah. think Mylar didn't perform to a point that it was so dramatically decreasing the, the G-Lo that we were like, let's keep it in. So, yeah. yeah. It's so. not important or significant. We did it, but it's on the cutting room floor. Uh, next question. Do you think using helium instead of air would have made a difference? Actually, we tested that too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it did not. Unfortunately, there was so. no difference between helium and air. Yeah, so that one also got cut out, but hey, good idea. <laughs> Why was it that the large latex did so well in the scale test, yet didn't work full scale? That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah. And the thing is, is when we were doing our little small scale drop test, um, it just it, the the weight didn't have the same velocity as somebody flying through uh, a windshield at speeds that a car were, were going, that our car were going. I also kind of feel like, you know, because of the form factor, it didn't quite work as well inside of the car. You know, it's like in, in our small scale test, it's a fairly standard thing, a cylinder shape, which is pretty, you know, easy to mash something in. But in a car, it's like you've got the steering wheel and all this other stuff in there. It's, it's just hard to fit something like that in. Yeah, and the dummy just still moved right through the middle of them. Yeah. You know, they just, they moved. Whereas a cylinder, they had nowhere to go. Right. Next question. Were you disappointed when the bubble pack drop did less well than the large latex? Did you think about giving it one last chance? Yes, I was disappointed. And no, we didn't think about giving it another chance. I mean, it's just, it, no matter what we were going to do, the balloons were not going to slow down the person's velocity to the point where you would survive the crash. It just wasn't going to happen. Not with latex balloons. I was, I was so, I was like, this has got to work. You know, the, the sheet with mm. the, it worked so well in the small scale. And I was like, you know what? Having seen it in real life, I was like, yeah, it's not going to yeah, work. Yeah, it's not going to work. But now you can pack really big things. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> My giant bubble pack empire. Next question. If you ran away to join the circus, what would your party piece be? What does that mean? What's a party piece? Mm. Maybe like a, like, like a skill or something? Maybe like a skill. What would, what would you do? I want to be a lion tamer. Party piece. Yeah, what would you do? If you oh, ran away to the circus, what ah, would you do? Maybe uh, spitfire. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. I would maybe do like 
uh, high wire or uh, trapeze. Mm. That'd be fun. Yeah. And finally, this week's Facebook wild question. How much fan mail do you get in a day, and what do you do with it? We get a ton of it. Thank you very much, by the way. <laughs> I say we get a lot more email these days than the actual letters because it's just so much easier. So um, generally, we, we send an autograph. Um, yeah. And My favorite are when the little kids yeah. will write, and they'll be like, oh, my gosh, I love Mythbusters. You guys make me love science. I, I love the, the little kid pictures. Like when kids they send draw us, us artwork. <laughs> yeah. Well, when anybody sends us artwork, we have a little gallery where we stick up the, the, the pictures that people have drawn of us because it's awesome. Yeah. And if we get a really interesting letter, generally we'll share it and post it up on the wall. Yeah. So if you have any pictures of us that you want to send along, <laughs> we'll put it up on our wall. And that's it for this week. So thanks very much for watching The After Show and keep your questions coming. And the fan mail. <laughs>